everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at Duke version 4 from 1993. I wanted to do a quick shot of this version of Duke because we did see him in this week's review, and I wanted to give him his own spotlight. I do think this is an excellent figure, except for the head. As you can see, the head has a non-removable helmet, and that is a problem for me. I don't even think it looks very good for you know these non-removable helmets. Those have been done better. Uh, so uh, in the video I did a head swap with version 3 and I thought that looked pretty good. I probably overstated things when I said that just swapping out the head for version 3 on version 4 would make the perfect Duke action figure. Maybe not. I actually like the chest on version 3 better than version 4 as well. So maybe with the head and the chest then maybe you have the perfect version of Duke. What I do like is the realistic desert uniform and camouflage. This is something that I think was lacking in the 90s and it's nice to have a really realistic, fully realistic military figure that late in the line. And this is a pretty good version of Duke. I can see Duke wearing this uniform on a desert mission. I may have misstated things as well when I said Duke would not be in my top 10 G.I. Joe characters. He probably would be. He may not rank as high as you might expect. I do not have the file card for for Duke version 4, so I'll need to get that before I do a full review on this figure. I'm looking forward to that though. I can already tell that I like it, uh, so that'll be something to look forward to in the future. Let me know what you think the best vintage version of Duke was. This version is nice, version 3 is nice, but even version 1 still has a lot going for it. That was just a quick look at Duke version 4 from 1993. I hope you enjoyed it. There is one more review for 90s month that's coming up this weekend. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.